whole hours. <laughs> What's up y'all, welcome back to another vlog. I've been cleaning a lot of the day and I'm gonna film a clean with me. I love watching those. I feel like my house has kind of changed since I last the one, so hopefully it's cute. But yeah, it's November 1st today, so I just feel really good, like this new energy of going into a new month. And I love that the first was on a Sunday, so it just feels very new. A little stressed out because the election is on Tuesday. It's crazy seeing all the places, so many businesses. Like, so, like, everything. Apartments, businesses, stores being boarded up. I was kind of noticing that, I think, a couple weeks ago. It, like, started to happen, and I was like, what? Like, is this leftover from a few months ago? Like, it's also daylight savings today, so I feel a little off. Like, I just, <laughs> I don't know. Not extremely, but I'm just like, um. I got a ton of groceries earlier, as you guys saw. But it was, like, one of those hauls where you need to get everything, like, oils and sauces and condiments and toilet paper. I'm gonna talk about it more in my podcast, but I feel like October was such a great month, like, personally, in a self-development way. I'll tell y'all, Scorpio season, Mercury retrograde, like, it does something. <laughs> I feel like I didn't really go out, like, I saved money, like, it was just a good-ass month as far as all that goes. So hopefully I can do that again. I'm, I'm gonna do that again this month, have the intention, you know? So let me know how October was for you. Again, we're gonna talk about it more in the podcast. Yeah, I guess with that being said, I'm gonna make a really cute, like, roast chicken dinner tonight, and I'm sure you guys have seen that kid on TikTok. I think his name is Jeremy, but he makes these... He does, like, a ton of different recipes, and he has this, like crispy potato recipe that I want to try. So I'm gonna make those, I'm gonna make a roast chicken, I'm gonna make chicken broth, cause I wanna make soup for this week to have like for lunch and whatnot, and a veggie, and it's just gonna be really cute, like a Sunday dinner, but I'm, it's just for me. I'm about to try this. I know you guys have seen this hack before. These are bottom bandy. It's supposed to taste like, they said Sour Patch, we'll see, bitch. You need some more lime. I'm not like shook, <laughs> it's kind of just what I expected. I feel like maybe I'm frozen grapes and also I think people, at least a couple people I saw who said this, said like if they're high and they don't wanna eat candy, like they wanna choose healthy munchies, it's good. Like I could see that cause it's like, the lime's like, you know, the sensation. <laughs> feels like it's at least 8 p.m. right now and it's not even 6. Like it's pitch black outside. Which like I kind of like because you know cozy hours and then I'm like I guess I can go to bed at 8. But currently just importing the footage from my clean with me video so I'm gonna look over that maybe start editing tonight. My dinner was so good but I'm like so hungry today. I don't know why. I'm having a tension tamer right now and I'm kind of trying to like wait. I didn't just eat but I feel like I want to drink this and see how I feel. This is honestly a historical vlog because the election. I was talking to Sonia on FaceTime today and we were both like, what the fuck with everything? I don't know, it's just like weird. It's just honestly, truly impending doom. It's just a weird feeling because it's not like something in my personal life, but it's like so stressful to think about. And I guess that's like very regular, but I guess just cause it's like this big event coming up, like, I don't know, fuck. Just honestly trying not to think about it. Please tame my tension. What's up y'all? It's Monday. I feel really good today. Honestly, I feel like I say the days of the week so I know when I'm editing because sometimes the clips import like, and some clips will be not in order. I don't know. I'm like, okay, I know this is where the day starts. But I feel good today. Also, I don't know if you guys, I mean, if you have a period, I don't know if you guys care about this or if it's like helpful but 
the period tracking app that I have is so basic. It's like the free one. Which one even is it? It's like that old janky one. I think it's the first one I ever used when I got one. It's the period tracker light, like this one. It's the free one, but you can like, and I know there's other apps that probably have like, like y'all are like, I know we've been, did this, but this one has like different moods and like there's symptoms, but then there's also like moods. And usually I would like track my symptoms, but mostly just like on the days when I had my period, like, oh, I had cramps this day or like maybe I felt extra, I don't know, I had acne, like I noticed a few more pimples this day. Sometimes I would do that. But then I kind of like realized the moods and I was like, low key, cause this is all like, I was sleepy, I was sad. Like there's so, there's just so many. So I've been like doing that, but throughout the whole month. And I feel like, like this is my first, 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 this is my first month doing it. Like I've only been doing it for a couple weeks, but low key, I feel like that's smart as hell. It's just like interesting to see when it changes. Like I had a bunch of days in a row where I marked that I felt kind of like sad, but then the next week I had a bunch of days where I marked like energized and that along with the symptoms, like it's just so interesting. And I know there's whole like meal, I don't know if me there's probably meal plans but like meal suggestions and even workout suggestions that are like hormone based so where your hormones are at the time of the month like eat this eat more of this do this for workout rather than this i just think that's super interesting and it's like working with your body rather than like against it you know so yeah uh, it's been interesting and low-key helpful so i'm gonna keep doing that <laughs> had a pretty productive day so far i was tweeting this and i feel like i've just been saying it all the time but i just really feel this like um good energy even though in some ways i think i was talking about this yesterday in some ways it's like i'm so stressed out just for the state of the world and like the election is tomorrow but like personally i just feel cute yeah, I just, I'm glad that it, the feeling is like still going. I'm working on a couple videos and then I didn't really have any pics to post or I did, but they were all like, looked kind of too much the same. I have a vision for a photo. I just want like kind of soft glam, maybe my hair like in a towel low key and like a robe and just very cute. I've been doing a lot of outfit pics and I just don't really want to post that because it's not like, I don't know. I'm not like trying to turn into an outfit page. It's just like the photos that I was taking a lot recently. So hopefully these pics come out, but yeah, I got some new makeup, this lip oil. I tried it last night, but I didn't have any other makeup on. And it looks like it'd be really, really red. I'll show you guys when I'm like gonna put it on today. But it literally just looked like such a perfect clear lip gloss. I'm so excited to wear it today with makeup. And then I'm gonna try this palette today, which I think will be pretty for like a soft glam. Like, hopefully my vision comes to life. On Halloween, I really, really liked my face makeup, but I did not like my eye makeup. Cause I was kind of trying to do like a sparkly white thing, but I didn't really like the lash and the eyeshadow just, my vision didn't work out <laughs> basically. It just looked kind of like stupid to me. But the face makeup was like popping. I tried this new contour technique that I of course found on TikTok. And she literally put her contour like here, instead of like, you know, here, she put up here and her blush. I have been doing my blush up here, but the contour, so I was like, let me try this because hers looks bomb. And she had a very different face shape than me too. So I was like, I don't know. But it was bomb. Like, I was like, is this how professionals be doing it? Because I feel like it just made it look so much better. So I'm gonna show you guys today. Hopefully you can see a difference. <laughs> a classic. Also, I put my makeup brushes in this skull that I painted on Halloween. And they fit perfectly. It was like meant for a plant, but Listen. I also washed my makeup brushes this weekend. New month, new me. Um, okay. Let's just take a gant. So literally like... Yeah, I don't know. It just is... It looks like so much different. I feel like already... I mean my eyes are two different shapes, but already it looks more like snatched on this side. I kind of feel like I should have used a more neutral like contour. I feel like this is too bronzy. Something about it, y'all. 
I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna finish the rest of this and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. When it's done, of course. Bitch. I think I like it. I think I love it. Um, I can't decide if I want to put my hair in a ponytail for this pick or like in a towel with like a robe. So I'm gonna try this and then see if I like it. But yeah. Isn't this pretty? I just put on a little bit of lip liner. At first I tried to do a lipstick under it, but it was too pink, so I took it off and just did this. So it's like, it's so glossy. I love that. And it's like a little tinted, you know? Like a little bit. I just think it's perfect. Like, <sighs> let me know if you try this makeup pack. Love that. I'm gonna put this so y'all can see. <laughs> Ew. I think I got my pick. I just posted it. Yeah. Let me know if you've seen it. I don't love it, but I'm not like triggered by it. You know, like I feel like some picks, I'm sure you can relate if you've ever taken a pick ever in your life. <laughs> Literally a Snapchat. Literally your grandma takes a family photo. It's like I'm not blown away by it, but I'm not like ew. Basically, I was wasting time. Well, it's not a waste of time because I like did something, but my footage was importing so now i have to go finish the rest of this clean with me video this other brand because i want to post my vlog today because it's monday it's so longer right now it's like long, long day of ig they haven't approved it yet or emailed me back so yeah boom <laughs> take a walk because i didn't leave my apartment yesterday and i was like you know i really don't know how the rest of this week is gonna go how crazy it's gonna be like you just never know so i want to get out and take a walk and see some you know real life people and fresh air before maybe i can't having a tea yeah it's been a good day so far though low-key like i almost feel well i don't know for something like this where it's completely out of my control and it's not even really like a personal matter. Like it's not in my personal life. It's like a broad, it's like the country. Like, it's like I feel like throughout the day, I'm able to think very like logically, like, okay, we'll see, like hope for the best. But then it's always like at night or before I'm about to go to sleep that I start like, let the thoughts be spiraling. So like last night I was a little stressed out. Today, it's like I'm doing stuff during the day. You know, I'm like busy. I'm like preoccupied. So obviously I'm, thinking about it i'm seeing all over social media but it's not really the same if that makes sense so i guess we'll see i guess it's like we don't even find out today i don't really know i just remember when like obama got elected in 2008 and like i was at my friends like all of our parents were watching it on their tv we were upstairs and i remember they're like oh he won and then we went outside and like someone else in our class like pulled up and they weren't voting for him. They were, <laughs> and it was like tea. Like we were like, don't tell them. Like we don't want them. To <laughs> Such a good memory. Anyway, we'll fucking see. But yeah, I'm waiting to post my vlog right now. Waiting for the brand to approve it. Really hope they do today because I usually like to post my weekly vlogs like on a Sunday or a Monday. Get the week started with the previous week vlog, you know. And it's Tuesday today, so I just really hope I can post her today. Oh my god! I don't really think this is anything. What time is it? Yeah. Well, we don't really know what the fuck is going on. We isn't me. Okay. Just did some skincare, and just kind of trying to distract myself. Yeah. Of course, Wednesday, I just woke up. I slept so sound, given the circumstances. I wake up, of course, we don't know. I guess it was quiet last night. It's later, as you guys can tell. I think I'm gonna do, cause it's Wednesday, y'all know I usually like record my podcast today or even yesterday but just because the election hasn't been announced yet i think 
I need to wait. I feel like there's nothing for me to say. Y'all know I like to record these when I'm like in the mood and I just kind of feel like really frazzled right now. Not like right now, right now, but just like overall, like this whole week, you know, it's just a lot. Anyway, on, different, on a different note, it's supposed to be 87 degrees today, which what the fuck? It has definitely been colder at night, but over this, I don't remember this happening last year. I don't think it did. Also, if y'all remember, I, in my podcast, I think last week I was just talking about how Duncan used to do free coffee Wednesdays and they're doing it again. I think they're doing it the whole month. So if you have the Duncan app, you can go get a free iced coffee or a free hot coffee. Not sponsored, just putting y'all on. And they have this like flavor that is gingerbread. <laughs> and I'm just like very intrigued by it, but I'm also like, that might be disgusting. But I think because it's free, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go get that right now. Also just mostly to like get out of, out of the house, take a walk. Y'all remember, obviously you just watched it, but I took a walk yesterday, but I guess since nothing happened, I don't know. Let me give y'all my review. First of all, it's hot as fuck. Okay, so I win and it, it did not let me mobile order. So I was like, are they open? Cause y'all know like so many places are boarded up but a lot of places are still like open but then like other places are not open anyway so i had to like order at the front which was whatever but i'm used to mobile ordering whatever i don't know why they would do that because it would seem like you would want less people in your store at a time like this especially but also corona but also just this they literally had it yeah y'all saw so first i order they make it really fast because i'm the only one in there I leave and I see that it says WHL milk and I'm like that is whole milk I literally get like halfway down the block because at first I was gonna go back and I was like you know it's probably fine and I was like you know what this is a good opportunity to practice I want to say sticking up for myself but that sounds like there was like beef but you know what I mean so I go back and I was like um I think this says whole milk um can you clarify because I want to oh and he was like Oh my god, I thought you said whole, and I was like, no, so sorry. So then they remade it. Thank gosh. I feel like I scammed. Like, what am I gonna do with this? I wish I could, like, give it to someone, but then it's like, you know, like a random or something, but it's like I already put a straw in it to accept Corona, you know? But yeah, I got one pub of gingerbread. And it's good. It seems like such, like, a random flavor like I feel like that's not something I would like but I think just the spiciness yeah I kind of like it it's like mild y'all know I've said I think in probably podcasts but I've said that sometimes Dunkin like the vanilla I think it's a van vanilla shot so they have like unsweetened flavors you know but then the swirls which is this like the sweetened flavors the unsweetened vanilla shot there tastes like cigarettes to me and I think it's just like a childhood memory of like going to someone's house, like a parent's friends or a friend's parents, and they would like smoke, so it would smell like old cigarette smoke, you know? But then like they'd try to cover it up with like a vanilla smell or something, so it always makes me think of cigarettes, so I feel like I'm like drinking that smell. Weird, I know, it's not like regular vanilla, it's that unsweetened, like very specific artificial vanilla flavor. And someone, my point in retelling this is that I saw someone on TikTok Cause you know, all the TikToks, maybe you don't, but all the TikToks about like my Dunkin' order tastes different every time. Like it never tastes the same. They always make it different. Like they don't have ingredient or like recipes or measurements, just vibes. And a comment had so many likes and it was like every third time I get my drink, it tastes like cigarettes. And I was like, I don't know if they mean the same thing that I experienced, if they experienced that same thing, but thank you. But it's good, but now I'm kind of like, I mean, I guess I'm gonna edit. Also y'all feeling like a real YouTuber because I just, signed up for like a monthly um, like music thing where you can you know download unlimited music for your YouTube videos and not get copyrighted. I'm doing a free trial so like we'll see. But hopefully it's good because that's like one of the biggest issues. If you or anyone you know makes beats and wants me to promote their beats, especially like lo-fi, like vlog music, let me know. So I think I'm gonna just edit right now. I don't know what to do with this coffee. Part of me wants to like save it because I'm like maybe I'll try it, but whole milk? Who drinks that? This is random, but you know what's a pet peeve of mine? When people clean stuff with paper towels that does not need to be cleaned with paper towels. Like, 
I'm thinking about it because I'm watching Jersey Shore and you know, she spills the chicken on the floor and starts using so many paper towels to clean it up. So it's, this isn't like random, like I'm thinking about it because I just seen it. But that is so annoying. Like I didn't grow up like that. Like to me, paper towels are for like, really, really, like if a dog pees on the floor or like if you're windexing a mirror or like glass. Where should I put this? You know, like when people just use half a fucking roll of paper towels. <sighs> Bitch. And also when people are doing the dishes and leave the water on the whole time. Hear the sirens? Get used to it. Yeah, so those are just some things that trigger me, but I just made some pasta, it's really good. Filmed it for my what I eat in a day. Can you hear that? I have it my retainer on the bottom, so like, don't look at it. It's loud as fuck outside. Like, a lot of people yelling. It literally sounded like it's just like echoing so much. It sounds like it's literally coming from an apartment, but it's like all outside. Y'all hear that? Just observing. It's just like crazy how much yelling, like, because obviously, especially all the protests and like riots and everything and like marches earlier this year, I would hear a lot of that. But I don't remember ever hearing this much pure just yelling, like no sirens. Like there was obviously sirens throughout the whole day. And like, there's obviously helicopters, but just like pure yelling. Like I can hear individual voices, it's like crazy. We still don't know, he needs one more state to win, but apparently we won't know until tomorrow, so. Yeah, there's sirens. <laughs> Shout out to social media dog. Imagine I'm doing, doing all this, you can't just look up what's happening, you gotta just like wait and see. <laughs> Y'all can hear the helicopters? It definitely quieted down. I was able to sleep through the whole night. We still don't know, but I had a dream last night. Bitch. The fact that I woke up at like three to these vivid ass dreams, went back to sleep, had even more vivid dreams. And it felt like the dream continued, which is kind of like rare, like you ever like wake up and want to continue your dream. But in the first dream, <laughs> I dreamt that the election was going on, like I was watching it on TV, but it was almost a game show. And Trump somehow got ahead by a few points, but then Biden answered, like it was literally Ellen like asking them questions. And obviously it's like a dream, so it's not like, like I just understood that that's what it was, you know? And he answered this one like silly question. It was like a, bo I don't know, a bonus question or something from Ellen. And he got it right, so he, one. So I wonder if I, I wonder if I, it was so vivid. I think I just feel so off this week though because I haven't been able to post my video and I'm not doing my podcast. So I just feel very like, what's the point of my life? And y'all know, like I've been talking about having this, I am like, anyway, back to me, <laughs> but I've been having this really good flow going and then this is like crazy. And it's like, I don't know, obviously there's like more important stuff going on but hopefully I can post a video today. Hopefully we know today what the fuck is going on. This is crazy. This is really a historical ass vlog. But I'm gonna finish editing this what I eat in a day and maybe start editing this vlog just so I can get it the fuck together. Y'all I was like honestly so just tired. Finally I was able to post a video. I'm so happy. It's literally Thursday. I like to post. I've been posting like twice a week on Monday and then Usually like Sunday, Monday, and then usually like Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. If you're a brand, don't DM me. <laughs> don't call me babe. Don't call me love. Don't call me honey. Don't call me anything. Like, I hate that. The best brands to work with in my experience are like professional. <laughs> Very to the point. I don't need all that extra stuff. This isn't friendship hours, okay? This is be polite and 
get shit done hours. I've been thinking about something and I know I'm gonna talk about it in a podcast, but I just wanna say it really quick so I don't forget. I don't know if I've said this before on camera, but my new thing is, or at least I'm trying to make my new thing like pure honesty. I think it comes from like, trying to please it's like very easy if you have an issue or if i have an issue it's very easy for me and especially in the past to be like oh no it's fine or like just act like everything's fine or like brush it off or like laugh it off i feel like i've gotten really good at that and in some instances like it's like a strength because it's like i i'm not like one to cause beef with people for no reason or like you know there's like two extremes like there's like you're gonna be overly aggressive and like honestly like rude start beef for no reason or you're just gonna like always want like you're never gonna have an issue with anything and like always just be oh uh, even when it, something needs to be addressed so pure honesty like if you feel something say it then or like if you want to text someone back but you're like no it's too soon to text them back i'm gonna wait it's like just text them when you feel like you want to someone this girl made a tiktok like if like this is just an example, but like if you're wondering where you stand with like a guy or like someone that you're interested in, just ask right then and there because you feel it for a reason, you know? And anything else is like fake. And I think I've talked about that before. Oh, pretending like you don't care when you actually do or like, I think waiting to text them back is such a classic example, but like that's not real. And I think especially when we're looking and looking or observing or reflecting on the behavior of others, it's like, well, you know, I always say like, if he wanted to, he would, or like, well, they didn't say anything, so, or like, oh, well, they waited this long to text me back. It's like, we don't need to cause unnecessary like stress or like anxiety even, even if it fits for the other person. Take that with a grain of salt, like, sometimes you need to process an emotional reaction before you say something, or like, sometimes you might feel like you wanna say something, but like, it's actually better to take a step back and reflect first internally, but generally speaking, yeah, that's my new life motto. <laughs> Just really come on here looking. Busted. Yes. It's Friday, beach. I'm feeling a little fed up. Biden is projected to win as of right now. Like they just officially announced that he is probably gonna win. I had hella vivid dreams again last night. I didn't really sleep that well. Also, it's been like hot, like I was hot all night. Bitch, it's fucking November, I shouldn't be sweating. Also, shout out to all of you that have been watching the vlogs because like, I, like I've said throughout this whole video, this brand hasn't approved my, like this week's vlog, but like the day I'm filming this, you know, this week, I haven't posted a vlog yet. And y'all are like asking me about the vlog and like asking when it's gonna go live and I just really appreciate that. So hopefully I can post that today because I don't wanna disappoint y'all, like I know the feeling. Today I want to film videos and I just feel really inspired to film today. So I'm gonna do that and it gives me like a plan for the day. It's also supposed to rain tomorrow, y'all. <laughs> hopefully it rains today honestly i should not be sweating this much let me show y'all my little haul that's it <laughs> i'm gonna do some yoga then i'm gonna take a bath take a pill take a nap and then probably film this was a great call literally as soon as i got in i was like instant relief this shit is like amazing Oh my god. Literally just put it all over my back and shoulders and neck. It burns so good. This is really when the vibes like... <laughs> like, let me know if you can relate or not. So I'm like, it's kind of early in the day, like it's only one o'clock. I could still do my makeup film while it's still light out. I just feel like aesthetically, Every time like I film a video and it's nighttime and I just have my ring light, I don't like how it looks. I'm editing it like you. But then the video I wanted to film, which is like a reacting to people's assumptions about me, I posted on Instagram today and I want to wait like a full day because I always get like more questions. If I ever, I'm like, I only wait a few hours, it's like I regret and I wish I'd waited. So I'm like, okay, I could film that tomorrow. And then I'm like, okay, then I could film my cleaning with me today. But then I'm like, I don't need to wash my sheets yet, so I kind of wanted to do that during the weekend too. But then if I do it now, I won't have to do it then. But then does it really matter? That's my life right now. Um, is that me? Cute, bro. 
I don't think it was. It just won't stop. This shit is lit. I just need a weighted blanket. <laughs> you just need a, a weighted blanket, one of these, a vibrator. You're set. My body hurts. Relax, mind your own business. Dude, there's been police helicopters like this whole afternoon. Like loud as fuck. I'm like, shut up. I'm making some rice and I marinated some shrimp earlier this week, like a couple days ago. So I'm gonna cook that, make some veggies. I'm gonna watch, first I'm just gonna watch Jersey Shore. I'm literally re-watching the series. Like, I finished it, I took like a week off. I'm on season two right now, when they're in Miami. But I think, I think season three is the best season, honestly. Angelina is so annoying. Dina, great, love her. But I think I love it so much. I think one of the reasons why I love it so much is like all their little catchphrases and like sayings like remind me of me. So there's that, but then also just like the way that they talk about sex and stuff like <laughs> in the episode I watched last night. So he's like, to get ready for a guy to come over, you just have the lotion everywhere, touch up, makeup. And then she's like, if it's a smush, you got a lotion in your butt. I know I'm like so late, but like, <laughs> Then I watched Easy A last night because that was on, that's like on Netflix now. And I was like, there's something about the 2010s. Fuck, <sighs> it just hits different. But really though, like that's part of life here too. It's just like... <laughs> 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 yeah, I look like that. Like It is. This is just great. Oh, it's actually getting a little real. You know, I thought I needed to say. Um. Yeah. Literally mid-workout, I go to change the song. Okay. It's not that loud outside, but I hear cheering for sure. Here come the damn helicopters. <laughs> Obviously, but it's been so cool to see all the posts like all day from all over the country of just people out Celebrating bitch. I love the energy. I'm gonna talk about it more on my podcast, but obviously like I Because it's annoying to see some people be like finally the nightmares over and it's like yeah Like one Person, but it's like there's still a whole system that's fucked up not just gonna go away or like when people are like I can't wait for this year to be over it's like I feel you but at the same time it's not like Midnight's gonna strike on December 31st and everything's gonna change. But not to bring the party down, not to bring the party down. We're gonna talk about it on the Celebrate podcast. So let me know where you were when you found out the presidential election of this year. I'm gonna end the vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching another weekly vlog. Let me know if you liked it and if you want me to continue doing these. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.